G'day everyone! In this video I'm going to be tackling the big task of painting my bus roof. I'm going to be painting it with Thermashield paint which is an insulating kind of heat reflective paint. I've actually used this paint before on my first bus and I made a couple of videos showing how I did the roof on that bus um, back then. So if you want to check those out as well I'll put a link to those in the description below. But this time round I'm going to be painting the roof of the coaster. Now this is something that I probably should have done a year ago because I've had the paint all of this time um, but I was putting it off because last year I really just wanted to focus on getting the bare minimum that I needed to get done in order to get the bus registered and certified as a motorhome. And then over summer I've basically been waiting for the temperatures to drop a little bit so that it's cool enough to do the painting. But summer is finally over here in Queensland and the weather's starting to cool down so it's time to stop procrastinating and get this roof painted. The first thing I'm going to do is give the roof a really good clean and there's a couple of little rust spots on the roof that I want to treat as well. Now the roof's not too bad because I have washed it a few times since I've bought it and I actually gave it a wash with a pressure washer uh, only like a few months ago so it's pretty good but the problem I have is that you can see here a lot of the roof is covered in these tiny black flecks and I'm not really sure what they are. These bigger spots actually look like lichens or some sort of mold and I'm wondering whether the little tiny specks are a form of mold as well but they actually feel quite green gritty and the pressure washer didn't get rid of them which is really annoying so I'm actually having to scrub them by hand with a scouring pad. You can definitely tell the difference between the area I've scrubbed and the area that I haven't so it is working. So I spent three and a half hours climbing up and down the ladder uh, cleaning this roof. I used a heavy duty truck wash um, that I got from Super Cheap Auto and it did a pretty good job of just removing the general dirt and grime that was on the roof and then I just scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed with the scouring pad to get all of those black flecks off and I tell you what by the end of the afternoon my arms were killing me and the roof still isn't perfect but at least it's much better than it was and I think it's good enough to give me a decent surface that I can go ahead and do the painting. So as you can see the roof's in pretty good condition, there's hardly any rust at all really. The only bits of rust that I do have are just tiny little spots. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see this on the camera but where the spot welds are there's just a little tiny bit of rust starting on some of those. I've got a couple of rust spots um, starting on the roof. Just It's basically just where the roof is chipped and scratched. There's a little bit of rust here you can see on the gutter as well so it's really just little patches like that almost nothing really just very superficial but I'm obviously not going to let that get any worse so I just want to um, sand those back a little bit I'm just going to do it by hand with a bit of sandpaper um, and then I'm going to paint them with Penetrol. Now I was just going to paint just those few little spots with Penetrol just to seal them up but I've actually decided I'm going to paint the entire roof with Penetrol because I had to scrub it so much yesterday to get that black stuff off. Um, you can just see a lot of very fine little scratches in the roof which is obviously going to take off some of that protective paint that's on there um, and expose the metal underneath so down the track all of those little scratches run the risk of getting rust so I'm actually going to paint the entire roof with Penetrol and hopefully that will just help to prevent any more rust from forming and then once that's fully cured I can go ahead and paint the roof. So this is the stuff I'm talking about, Penetrol. Uh, you can get it at Bunnings or probably most other hardware stores. You can also buy it online. Um, if you've watched my videos for a while, you will have seen me use this before. I love this stuff. It is my number one go-to for treating any kind of rust. It's an oil-based substance that has a really low surface tension. So when you paint it onto the surface of metal, or you can even use it on wood and other um, materials, when you paint it onto the surface, it finds its way down into every little uh, crack and crevice in that surface so when it dries it forms a seal that prevents oxygen and water getting in and of course those are the things required to create rust so it's a really good rust preventative it's also really good at sealing like you can paint it straight onto rusty metal and it will seal over the rust and stop it from getting any worse so I've used this a lot I used it a lot on the first bus I had I used it when I ripped up the floor in the coaster 
and uh, repainted the, the subfloor frame so I painted this on treated the rust in those areas it, it's just it's brilliant stuff so I can't recommend it highly enough uh, I use it all the time so like I said I'm gonna try painting the entire roof with this now I've never done that I've only ever used this to treat like smaller areas um, but I don't see any reason why it won't work <laughs> and um, so that's what I'm gonna do now you can paint this stuff on neat which is what I'm going to do I'm just going to be painting this straight on as it is out of the can but you can also mix it with paint so if you're using an oil based metal primer for instance you can actually mix a little bit of this in with the paint and it will help the paint go further but it also helps the paint stick to the surface better so it's great for that um, that's what I did when I painted the frame underneath the floor and the coaster um, I painted this on neat first and then on my first coat of the metal primer I actually mixed a bit in with this of this in with the paint as well now it is oil based so you can only mix it in with an oil based paint now thermoshield is water based so I can't mix this in with the thermoshield paint it just won't work you can paint over the top of this with water-based paints once it's cured and I checked with the people at Thermashield and they've assured me that you can paint over Penetrol I just need to wait probably two weeks before painting the Thermashield on top of it so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to paint the entire roof with this today and then I'm going to let it sit for at least two weeks and hopefully then I'll be able to paint the Thermashield over the top I just used a paintbrush to paint on the Penetrol because it's pretty watery and I just figured that any brush strokes that show up will tend to settle down and even out as the Penetrol kind of spreads out and dries and I'm not really too fussed about what this is going to look like because my entire roof is going to be covered in solar panels and most of this you won't even see by the time I'm finished and I think that by the time I've put four or five coats of the Thermashield paint on top of this you won't notice any brush strokes that may appear in the Penetrol layer. And also, when you're going up and down a ladder, it's a lot easier to manage a small pot and a paintbrush than it is to try and manage a full-size paint tray and a roller. Okay, well, I have no idea if this is going to work, but we'll just have to see what happens when the Penetrol cures. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Hopefully it won't rain today uh, because the Penetrol needs a good 12 to 24 hours to dry properly. And then I'm going to leave it sit for two weeks and let it fully cure. And hopefully then I'll be able to come back and paint on the Thermashield.